What's up guys? Gary Taylor's already here. Saying hello to Maggie and Vicky. I am Kevin from Relax and Learn Guitar. This is a live stream on YouTube. And uh, if I can see my screen, that would help. Well, Randy's here. Hello, Randy. A fine evening to you as well. Vicky's frowning over here. If you're new here at Relax Learn Guitar, you're going to hear me talk to Vicky, my wife, who helps with Relax Learn Guitar. She helps with the camera, she helps with the comments. What's up, Joe? Good to see you. Happy to hear about your progress on the guitar. Keep at those bar chords, man. What's up, Scott? Good evening to you. So if you're new here, you'll hear me say Vicky. She is not a figment of our imagination. There she is saying hello. And you may also meet Maggie May, our little dog, our mascot for Relax Long Guitar. She's come a long way. What is she like, two now, Vic? Mm -hmm. She's uh, a little over two. Yeah, she's come a long way with her behavior, so you gotta love puppies. Oh my gosh. Crazy. So welcome, guys. What's up, Mr. Steve from Canada? Good to see you. Everything sound okay um, and look okay. If you can let me know in the comments, that'd be great. We had live, a live lesson with our members only lesson Sunday night. And I was super irritated at our microphone. So I'm hoping everything's okay tonight for this. If you can see and hear me, just let me know. There's no like way to do like a thumbs up. I don't think so in these. Yes. Oh, thank you, Gary. If there's issues, I think the best thing to do is just kind of refresh and kind of check back in. That seems to be working. We, uh, we Mr. think we, here. everything's good, he says, Joe says. Excellent. Well, good to see you guys. I love doing lives and connecting with folks. We, uh, what's up, Harold Brown? Good to see you. We're going to be doing some country strumming tonight, a little exercise on some ways to improve your country rhythm. Hey, what's up? Um, I'm good, you handsome devil. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Way to make me blush. Thank you. Um, if you didn't catch last week's live stream, I'll, uh, we'll put a link in the description where we're working on, we were working on some rhythm stuff there too. I'm going to reference that a little bit, but if you didn't see it, it's okay. You can still get a lot out of this lesson. If you guys have suggestions for things you'd like to see on a live stream, then you can leave those in the comments or um, on YouTube and let us know. That'd be great. <laughs> Here at Relax on Guitar, I help folks that are over 40 learn how to play the guitar so they can be the best guitar players they can be and play the guitar like they've always wanted to. Pretty laid back style, easy to follow lessons. I wholeheartedly believe that you're never too old to learn. So it's kind of the philosophy around here. It is approachable. It's the best instrument in the world, in my opinion. So let's get started on our lesson tonight. This is some country strumming. I'm going to talk about a couple of different things. Uh, we're going to use a metronome again a little bit um, to help our brains count and stay in time. The first thing I want to talk about is um, actually root notes or bass notes of chords because those are really important, especially in some country music. So my hope for this lesson is that once you're done, you'll have a good idea and uh, some things you can use in almost like almost every country song ever. Or if you want to write your own songs or just kind of strum in rhythm uh, to some country stuff, this should help. Uh, the root notes are important because the first strum pattern we're going to talk about, well, both strum patterns we're going to talk about tonight, include those root notes. If you're around relaxing the guitar at all, you'll hear me say bass. That's the same thing as a root note. So when I say bass, it's the root of the note. We're going to stick to good old key of G for this lesson. What's up, Ted? So for a G chord, if you guys can play a G chord, play that with four fingers a lot. Uh, for that, I use my index finger on the 5th string 2nd fret, middle finger on the 6th string 3rd fret, ring finger on the 2nd string 3rd fret, and pinky on the 1st string 3rd fret. That's a G. The root of a G 
chord is the sixth string. So, or you'll hear it called like a six string root. That is the thickest string, the E string. So for a G chord, that's the root or base of the chord. And for the rest of the night, I'll just call, I'll just say bass instead of root, because I'm just more used to that. That's the base of a G, so get used to hitting that sixth string. And then we're gonna play a C chord. Can be a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> Maggie is like passed out on the floor. It's gonna be quiet tonight. The C chord is index finger on the second string first fret, middle finger on the fourth string second fret, and your ring finger on the fifth string third fret. And for this chord, for a C chord, it is a fifth string root. So the fifth string, um, which is the A string actually, is the root or base of that chord. And you don't actually play the sixth string at all. So for the G chord, sixth string bass, and you play all six strings. For a C, it's a fifth string bass, and you play from the fifth string down. And then a D. I don't know if we'll do the, use the D very much, but it's in that key of C. I mean, key of G, so that'll work. And for that D chord, you have index finger on the third string, second fret, and your middle finger on the first string, second fret, and your ring finger on the second string, third fret. And that, for the purpose of this lesson, is going to be a fourth string bass. Okay? So you have a G with the sixth string. You have a C with the fifth string. Hello, DD Kids Place. Full disclosure, those are our wonderful grandkids. And the D is a fourth string bass. Hope you guys are doing good. So G is a sixth string, C is a fifth string, and the D is a fourth string. So for country music, um, you'll hear these two strum patterns a lot. So I'm kind of starting there for tonight's live stream. We're going to do a G chord, and the pattern is going to be a bass down strum. So hit the bass note first, and for that G is the sixth string, and then strum down. If you were following along last week, and like I said, you don't have to, but it helps to use a metronome, we're going to turn on our trusty little metronome. Let's see, I've got it set on 80 beats per minute. What's up, Mr. Mike Smith? Good to see you. And Thomas is here. Jumping on. Jump on in. So, using a, a, a metronome, I don't get real fancy with it. The uh, I just kind of set it for a beats per minute on a quarter note. And I've got it on 80 beats per minute for this. And so the point of this, and then you're tapping your toe. Tap your toe. Your toe hits the ground when the beep happens. I don't know if you can hear my foot or not. So you're going to hit the bass note and then strum down in between each beep or beat. I might want to slow this down a little bit. Let's go about 70. So we get going here. Yeah, there we go. I got too late. Who? Oh. Diana. <laughs> it's okay, Diana. Good to see you. So you're going to tap your toe. I've got it on 70 beats per minute. So if you're following along at home, set your metronome to 70 beats per minute. We're going to play a G chord and play the sixth string first. And then strum down. If that's too fast for you, you can slow down your metronome. If it's too slow, you can speed it up. And if we switch to that C chord, we're going to strum the fifth string, the bass note, and then down. Oops. And then a D. You guessed it. Fourth string, and then strum down. G sixth, C fifth, and D is the fourth. And like I said, if you need to slow that down some, that's fine. Um, if you're 
further along you want to speed it up you can do that as well now for this I'm not doing any that's just a straight bass down strum one thing you can do is you can use your palm to mute that bass note a little bit and drum pattern on the G we play the sixth string the C we play the five, fifth string boogeyman says it's clear in Oklahoma and the D is the fourth string and make sure that you're so when you're tapping your toe to that beep on that metronome that's when you hit the bass note of the chord. And then the strum down happens in between the beeps. Okay? And then what I was getting at before we had our little technology uh, snafu there the uh, one thing you can do is you can palm mute the bass note so that it's not ringing out. So you have this with no palm mute, or this with a palm mute. And when you palm mute, you're going to use the palm of your hand, surprisingly. And that's going to rest here on your strings back by the bridge of your guitar. Mm -hmm. So every guitar has a little bit of a sweet spot. And you want to find that on your acoustic guitar. On electric, it's not going to matter as much. <laughs> Still looking good. Giddy up. So the um, sweet spot on the guitar is where you're going to get, you're still going to get the note, the tone of the note to ring out. If you move your palm toward your the sound hole of your guitar, the closer and closer you get to that the more mute the string becomes. So you don't want to palm you way up here on your strings. You want to rest it back here toward the bridge of your guitar. You also hear this kind of in country music, you'll hear boom chuck. And the boom chuck is exactly that. Bass down strum. Boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck. C. D. And then when you hear the term boom chukka, that's the second strum pattern we're going to do tonight. That's a bass down up strum. So it's a little bit faster because in the, this first one, you're striking that bass note when the beat happens on the metronome and when your foot hits the ground. And you have enough time to go down on those strings for the bass down part. For this one, you're going to have to be a little bit faster because you're going to do a down-up strum after each of those bass notes. And I really like just kind of palm muting all of it. This also reminds me a lot of Johnny Cash and kind of the train sound. That kind of thing. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka. Let's try that with a metronome. So we'll do a bass down first. So to the do to do the bass down up that C the D C You don't want to palm mute. You don't have to. I think the palm muting just makes it sound more like the country kind of strumming rhythm. And metronomes do another thing. I tend to play fast, so metronomes help me slow down. But if you want to, um, if you've been playing a little bit longer and you want to speed it up some, you could do it like on more like an 80 beats per minute. I just like that better with the with the palm mute. So work on finding that sweet spot on your guitar. Don't 
forget to tap that toe. Yeah, you can do it on 60, Randy. That's probably a good place to start. Face down first. on those, um, memorizing those root notes for the G is the sixth, the C it's the fifth, and the D it's the fourth, and you work on uh, muting that bass note for that boom part, and then down, down strums, bass down and bass down up, those are two super common strums you'll hear in a lot of country music, and bluegrass music as well, bluegrass probably plays it, I mean, bluegrass is known for being a lot faster. it is kind of much faster. I always tell folks to learn it uh, correct first and quick later. Speed does come with time. I could do that all day. <laughs> but I won't bore you guys. If you guys have any questions about that, and thanks for hanging in there while we had these crazy, crazy... Uh, issues here with our internet. That was weird. Yeah, and I never had, I mean, mm -hmm. we know we can just click the resume and maybe not have much as, as much of a gap in there. But that's why it's live, folks. We're not making it up. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you have questions, you can leave them here. Um, if you come across this later, or for the folks that watch this on the replay, you can leave a comment. We'll definitely get back to you and answer your questions for you. Before I sign off here, I want to remind people that there is a, another step you can take to learn even more uh, great guitar songs and techniques and hang out with an incredible group of folks in the Relax on Guitar membership. It's a full access membership. I'll leave the link here in the description. You can check that out. Um, it's pretty amazing um, what you get for the money, a very good value, but you can join for a monthly or annual rate and you get access to all of my lessons, all the PDF downloads, all the printables. Uh, there's an ebook in there. There's a private Facebook group with an incredible group of folks that a lot of them are here on the uh, live stream tonight. And it's a great way to, uh, you know, if you've been wanting to play for a long time, or maybe you haven't played in a while, you want to pick it back up. Fall's right around the corner, perfect time to start playing some guitar this fall, and the Relaxed Song Guitar membership is a great value to check out, so I'll leave that link down there and you guys can look at that. If